Hey everyone, it is I, Mark the Movie Man, and yes, today we've got a double feature on our hands for our one year anniversary. Yes, today we take a look at a movie that proves that special effects alone cannot save it, as well as Kristen Stewart proving she can truly act. Yes, everyone, I just want to take this time before we get started to thank all my viewers, my subscribers, the friends out there, everyone who has come back about every week to watch this crazy guy ramble on about movies. Yes, I will keep making them if you keep watching them. That's a threat, that's a promise, and this is a big thank you to all of you from me out there. Thank you very much. Now, let's get started. I figured, what better way to uh, pay tribute pay for our one-year anniversary than to take a couple of viewer suggestions? Yes. I had a one viewer uh, ask if what my opinion was on D War, Dragon Wars, and another viewer who asked uh, what my opinion on the Runaways. So we're covering both today. Let's first hop on over to D War. Yes, D War, a movie out of Korea with an all American cast. Go figure there. It's a movie uh, based off of a legend about two big, huge super snakes. Every 500 years, they get the chance to become dragons. One, of course, is a good snake, one is a bad snake. And uh, whoever gets to eat this 20 year old girl who has the power to turn them into full blown dragons. Uh, determines which one becomes a dragon and either protects the cosmos, uh, the good dragon, or uh, destroys the cosmos, which is a uh, bad dragon. Okay, that's that's basically the plot in a num nutshell. Link to the bottom of the cast and crew. About the biggest name you have in here, tells you what type of movie it is, is Robert Forrester. Now, this actually hit the theaters, can you believe it or not? And let me tell you folks, the special effects in this movie are really, really good. I will give it that okay there are some fantastic action scenes that have a lot of cgi effects they do this big epic battle in ancient uh... korea with these beasts that have missile launchers on them don't even get me started on trying to figure out the logic in that in any case, they have missile launchers on them, uh, and they're these big beasts, and they're, they're working for the dark side, and the big, ugly, uh, mean snake, okay? They're not for the good guy. The good guy's got, like, nobody. He's got, like, this one guy with a magic medallion to protect the girl. That's all the good guy's got. Bad guy's got mega uh, raptor guys riding raptors and flying pterodactyl things, and the special effects, again look fantastic okay you jump 500 years into modern age you get the same beastie army back for the dark side because once again we've hit the point into everyone's destiny where uh it's determined whether or not we get the good dragon or the bad dragon okay this plot is weak at best if you can even call it a plot okay the acting is substandard on all levels and uh you know just it jumps around it at one point we jump locations for no purpose whatsoever, and there's no explanation on how we got from modern, uh, you know, regular California to this evil dark tower, okay? This movie is bad in every way except the special effects and the action, okay? In fact, it's for that reason why I gave D-War uh, one and a half stubs, okay? You get the one stub for the special effects. I mean, it's great for a low-budget movie of this nature coming all out made out of uh, from a korean production company they didn't have a huge budget but their effects were fantastic everything else about the movie weak and just bad okay at one point as my friend points out there's a miss there's a typo in the subtitles for a movie that hit the theaters okay this really shouldn't happen folks so if you're looking for a, a just a really empty movie but with some great special effects you can hit d war uh, Dragon Wars, okay, it gets one and a half stubs for me, uh, only for the special effects, and then the, for the one stub, and then the half stub for entertainment value of laughing of just how horrible the dialogue and, well, everything else about the movie is. Okay, now we jump on over to The Runaways. Yes, The Runaways, a uh, story about the all-girl rock band that opened up the doors for Joan Jett, Lita Ford, and, well, those are the two big names from this uh a rock band, but in any case, you know the names. Uh, they did the Ch -ch -ch Cherry Bomb song. Yes, those who you play Guitar Hero, you know that song. Link to the bottom of the cast and crew for that as well. Okay, this movie was good. You actually have Bella, well, the actress who played Bella in uh, the Eclipse, Twilight, and all of them. Yeah, she's in this, and she proves she can act. I loved it. She looked like Joan Jett. She acted like a young Joan Jett. You gotta give her props. I, I, it 
proves even more so that the Twilight series is being poorly directed and poorly written because she got acting chops and she proves that she can hold her own next to Dakota Fanning who does great as the blonde cherry bomb lead singer of The Runaways. Okay, this is a fun rock and roll movie. I Only thing missing from it is even some more rock and roll numbers which I would have liked to see. It does get a little bit slow in parts but uh, most of these band movies do. Also what you see in these band movies is the rise and fall of the band which is not the fault of the movie okay it may seem a little cookie cutter but you know there's all kinds of bands who have suffered the same fate as the runaways did so you can't fault the movie for that it's just telling the story like it is it just happens to be a story that you see again and again through bands so don't fault it there folks the performances are great Dakota Fanning is great in it she usually is and Kristen, well, she does a great job as well as Joan Jett. Looks the part and even sounds the part because she does sing her parts in the songs that they play on the soundtrack. Folks, The Runaways is a fun band film, especially if you want a little insight into the all-girl band that helped launch the careers of Joan Jett and Lita Ford. Three stubs. I enjoyed The Runaways that much. Yes, three stubs. And Kristen, get over with the uh, Twilight Saga soon so you can get some parts that show your actual acting chops. That'll about do it here for the one year anniversary edition of the Final Cut. Thanks for sticking with me for so long. And as always, everyone, keep that ticket stuff. Can't stay at home, can't stay at school.